Anin, Buju. Buju. I'm Ernest Joseph Uppegard Peltier III. I'm with Honor the Earth. I am an enrolled member of the Turtle Mountain Band of Anishinaabe over in North Dakota. I live and organize out of Bemidji, Minnesota. I actually organize with Our Revolution Bemidji Project for a Change, Honor the Earth, uh, the DFL, and a bunch of different caucuses throughout Minnesota. Um, nine months. We've been out on the front lines nine months. And you know what? I remember going to the front lines and wondering, what am I doing here? And uh, I had to sit down with a good friend of mine, a good mentor of mine, who I've been organizing with for the past three plus years. And uh, Nancy and I had this conversation after we were uh, doing the Get Out the Vote. We turned out over 9,000 new indigenous voters last year. One of your hardest demographics to actually reach for. And I was complaining to her, I was like, oh, my back hurts. And she's like, Joe, you're too young to consider yourself an elder. I was like, oh, okay, okay, I can accept that. You know, you know, we're, we're going on a little bit more and you know, I'm complaining, my feet hurt. We were just door knocking and she's like, Joe, you're too old to consider yourself a youngin. <laughs> you know, that, that one hurt, hit right there a little bit. And I was like, Nancy, okay, I'm too old to be a youngin, but I'm too young to be an elder. Then what am I? What am I? She said, Joe, you're a helper. You're part of the seventh generation. You're here to help. And that's what we all here are today. We are part of the seventh generation. So nine months we've been doing this and it was a, a, a really cold December last year in northern Minnesota. I don't know if, who's been out there but you know it gets frigid. It gets cold but it's gorgeous. And we were out at the Welcome Water Protector Center over in Palisade, Minnesota. We're walking with the group and we see an elder in front of us. And I was with my sister because of course the buddy system. And we both knew exactly what we needed to do. We were helpers. So we slowed ourselves down. We took a moment and we walked with that elder. We helped him down a, a, a steep slope that was covered with snow, had trenches in it, had sticks. He knew what we were doing. He was no fool. He knew exactly what we were doing. So he gave us the respect as helpers. And he gave us stories of his youth, of him camping, of him hiking, blueberries, going out ricing. Because wild rice is one of our biggest staples in indigenous country in northern Minnesota. <laughs> Telling us stories. You know, Gina and I slowed down and we got to see the world around us. It was snowing. Heavy, thick snowflakes coming down. And it was gorgeous out northern Minnesota in this great weather. Freezing our, freezing. And we get him out to the river where the rest of the group was. Ms. Elder pulls out a big old wad of tobacco and starts handing it out to everybody because we are a community. We share with what we got and when we're praying and when we're doing ceremony, what's yours is mine. Woo! So he's handing out this tobacco. Miss Winona LaDuke's giving a good uh, speech on, you know, why our water is important, why the Nibi is important, why we belong to the water itself. We as Anishinaabe people, we are of the land. We have our shells, we have our beads. We are here now. And we pack up. Gina and I automatically knew what we had to do. We looked for that elder. And we slowed ourselves down again and made sure he got back to the camp safely. 
And that is who everybody here is today. We are helpers. And I want to give a chi miigwech, which is a big thank you to everyone here. Whip miigwech. I appreciate everyone. We all need you in our movement. We all need you to defeat the black snake. We all need the rainbow coalition so we can re take that green path that Winona LaDuke talks about instead of the red path, which is the capitalism view of our people, of our communities, and of our society. And we cannot view each other as numbers anymore. We are family. We are the seventh generation. Chi miigwech for being here.